Good morning guys. Today I'm going to make you a Jamaican breakfast, ackee and saltfish. And my seasons are already cut up. I'm going to make some, I've already roasted the breadfruit and I'm going to fry it um, so that you can have like fr fried breadfruit instead of the roasted breadfruit. And I'm also going to make some Johnny cake. I've already prepared my flour. In the flour, of course, you know, you put a pinch of salt, you put baking powder, of course, to let it rise. And that brown thing that you're seeing is sugar. I just put a little bit of sugar just to add flavor and make it more of a, give it more of a, a sweet taste. I'm also going to use some milk from one of my favorite brands. Um, so instead of using pure water to make the Johnny cake, I'm going to use a little bit of milk. And then for the rest, I'll just use water. Also going to make some fried plantains. The plantains are already cut up. So I'm going to present you with your meal shortly. For your saltfish, I have basically done it like this. Um, it's not boiled. I don't boil saltfish anymore. Because you find that it takes away too much of the taste. Um, if you cannot use the salt, then you know you just soak it for more than a day. But you have to leave it in the fridge because the salt is what preserves it. So if you take it out of the fridge, it will spoil um, while it's soaking. And then I just tear it. It, it becomes kind of stretchy. And then I just rip it, rip it up and just debone it. And that gives you a nice thick. It makes it nice and thick. You see how it, it, it's chunky? Very chunky. Okay, my dumplings are on the way. My plantains are on the way. And I'm about to put in my Akean saltfish. I always, of course, that's what most Jamaicans do, to put the seasoning first. And then while the seasoning, the flavor starts to emerge, you allow it to simmer for like about a minute or so. And then you pour in your saltfish. And stir. Meanwhile, that is simmering. You can turn your plantings. Make sure, because you're doing so many different things, make sure you keep the flame very low so that you don't overcook anything. And the dumplings are on their way. Time to toss in your ackee, which it was pre cooked and stored in the refrigerator overnight. Um, you have to be careful to how to stir because you don't want to mash up your ackee. Well, that is if you have butter ackee, it's going to really mash up easily. But this is the other type of ackee. I don't really know the name of it, but just take your time and stir. So you incorporate the saltfish and the seasoning into your ackee. Plantains are on the way, as I said. Johnny cake's on the way. We're having fun this morning. All right, your ackee is almost finished. And what you're gonna use to top it off, I bet you've never tried this. Well, of course, everybody has tried black pepper. You put a little bit of black pepper on it just for flavor. But another thing, you can also try a little bit of paprika, just to enhance that peppery flavor that gives you a punch in the taste and you just stir and your aki is basically ready time for the breadfruit it's actually being fried right now so you are almost about to see the meal and here is your breakfast breakfast is served johnny cakes your fried breadfruit your aki and saltfish with a sprig of thyme and your fried plantains enjoy your meal